Good luck. Welcome back. This is week 183 of the weekly ladder um, that we predominantly organized within Shogi Harbor's Discord server. And it's a fun exercise, isn't it? Um, so uh, I had hoped maybe this week could be the week that I get one Don or two Don again. And we'll see just how that goes. Um. <laughs> Our opponent's already picked something I don't know. But should I let that frighten me? I don't think so. Um, yeah, let's castle. Let's put the king to safety, if we can. And attempt to play some normal-ish game. Um, Castle your king after seeing where the rook moves to. Well, yeah. Thank goodness for our Proverbs collection, eh? Um, do we want to build Mino Castle, or do we have something else in mind? Well, I'm sure not blocking my bishop at the expense of a tempo, so I guess this is what we're doing. So yeah, when in doubt, build a castle. Um, but try not to always be in doubt. <laughs> so we're going to attack toward this edge and see how things play out. I've seen this a lot. I don't know. Like, yeah, that does give the king an escape square, but surely there must also be some disadvantage to things that produce advantage. Like, there's no such thing as a perfect move. Um, so, what now? I guess we block the long diagonal. I'm kind of really confused by what's gone on here. Double central rook is not something we've seen before, to my memory. Maybe your memory is different. Oh, right, so with the introduction, uh, the weekly ladder is an opportunity to play a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent and review the game afterwards. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, right, so I'm building this. I build this because if I were to push this directly, they could drop a bishop and take one of the pawns. Even though that's probably not a threat. Uh, we defend against it anyway. My castle is looking a bit spacious. Which is perhaps not a good thing, but I wasn't going to push this. It would be silly pushing the pawns in front of my own king. At least in this circumstance. Uh, this is really, this castle where all my generals are floating is kind of tenuous because all the generals are floating, right? Um, not sure if that's self-evident or not. Um, it's kind of like a cake. Where they say, don't make loud noises or the cake might fall in on itself. That's kind of what we got going on here, where the rook is the binding agent. Um, covering all the space between the layers of the cake. Let me just verify. I did get my overlay correct, and I did. Beautiful. Hmm. Right. <laughs> well, there's only one way we can meet that, right? So they're going to attack on my king's wing, and I'm going to attack on their king's wing, uh, or side of the board. Um, and I don't know what happens after that. I guess this is probably why playing central file rook in response to central file rook 
might not be a perfect thing. Um, So, I have half a mind to close the diagonal, at least temporarily, but then they push pawn 5-5, five five. and then I can open the diagonal immediately afterward, so, hmm, maybe I want to move this gold toward my king, or maybe I want to dance this gold around and stack all my generals to make a wall here, even though, like, there are weaknesses. Okay, this general's probably got to move first. We move that here and there. And then... Um, figure out the next course of action. Oh! Okay. Someone's picking a fight. What's this about? Have I done something? That... I can just move up and take that. <sighs> like, I wanted to move one of my... I wanted to connect my castle first instead of going into this crazy variation. But, uh, a pawn is a pawn. Wait, no, if my general goes up, they could drop their bishop. But that traps their bishop. Yeah, we're going for it. We're going to go into this crazy line, because why not? They've spent most of their time pushing pawns, as have I. And we are pushing on the correct sides of the board. Um, but... Like, now I've achieved something similar to Silver Crown, where a silver's usually in front of the king. But here, uh, my silver's even further up the board, and threatening to invade, and I don't know what next. So, silver takes was what I had in mind here. And if they drop this, yeah, they... I'm sorry, where was it? I was thinking they were able to fork two of my pawns with the bishop drop. Um, I'm not seeing... Like, I'm seeing that somehow they were forking this and that. Or something, and that's not even possible here. They might just defend their pawn. Uh... This is going to get awkward. So my silver dances up the board at gain of time. Yeah, I might lose some time retreating this at some point, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm more worried that what if this file against my king opens? That could be bad. Um, but... I think it's okay, because I've got at least one general here, and I can bring up this gold to have two generals protecting the king. Yeah. So, free pawn? Like, I don't even need to take it this instant. Um, this is weird. Well, actually, if I don't take it, knight... Well, it'd be crazy to move up the knight. It's legal. Uh, would it be crazy? My initial reaction was that it would be insane, but it's not a disaster to advance. Well, hmm. I like taking stuff. Hmm. Um, I 
Yeah, let's try this. I'm too curious about it. Now remember, two pawns on the same file would be Nifu, which is not permitted. Um, so I can't just drop a pawn up here to like accelerate an attack. Um, this is so... I don't understand. Um, but yeah, when you're fighting against a bishop drop, um, just make sure you avoid bishop forks, for which uh, both the fork and the follow-up to the fork are not feasible. Um, it's really easy to produce a fork with a bishop, which is why you have to be super careful about everywhere the bishop could drop that produces a fork. <laughs> um, but I think... Oh. Oh, I forgot. They could drop it right here. Well, what am I talking about then? Ay, ay, ay. I was too curious. Um, hopefully a rook drop doesn't murder me here. Because that'd be sad. Bishop drop, I take another pawn. They take my rook, I take back. They drop a rook somewhere. I don't know. I'm not sure what I've landed myself in. It doesn't look good. Yeah, this look before you leap. I'm sure that's a proverb somewhere. As I'm talking about the possibility of a bishop fork, uh, I forgot this is a bishop fork. So I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, that's a fork. So how do we how do we reduce the damage after they take my rook? I could go back. <laughs> I thought I had some follow-up. I liked that I could take multiple pawns. Um, I could still retreat. Dropping my bishop would be kind of sad. Hmm. We know my opinion about rooks. I really like rooks. Um, so I'm giving a knight, basically. I think it's okay. Yeah, we're going to do something pretty aggressive. I think it'll be fine, though. Maybe they should have taken this. No, I'm sorry. It's defended, obviously. Oh, if they defend, I am defending. We'll see if that happens. I don't think they're moving this, even though it's highlighted.
I mean, yeah, the my potential threat to hit their rook is kind of spooky. But you have to calculate the stuff like I didn't. So, yeah, I played into this out of curiosity. Um... Oh, they defend. I'm not sure they had time to do that. So I can cover all the squares in my camp, at least temporarily. I don't know what they're planning to do about that. So now a rook drop in my camp. Uh, if it's possible, I'm not seeing how. Um... So... I have two bishops in hand. This is spooky, though, because if I move anything in my camp, suddenly a rook drop becomes possible. So, like, one thought I had is to double the bishops against the silver. Because I don't know what else I could do with two bishops. I guess I could use a bishop to support an attack on this. There might be some fork somewhere that I've over... Well, yeah, the knight hits my bishop. I take here. They take my bishop. I take the rook. So they've taken two pieces for a rook and a pawn. Um, that's not great. So, ideally, I'd find something better than that. Yeah, piling up my pieces against the silver seems good at first glance, but then they just push this up, and what am I doing? But I'm not sure what else I can do. Well, okay, I could push my castle to promote it. That would be kind of funky. Um... Yeah, we've got a, a mess. This is what we've got. Hmm. I mean, maybe better than the king move was dropping a bishop. No, there's no tricks here. I'm trying to find some tricks such I could shuffle this and easily defend everything. There's no such trick. Um, anticipating my bishop drop. So what now? I mean, my silver could just come back, right? It's done its job. Um, and trying to support this as it invades further. These attempts to support fail. Um... I could also drop a bishop here. And that cuts the scope of the bishop. Um, Hmm, 
Yeah, this is awkward. There's no need to retreat it immediately. Uh, I'm nervous if I don't drop my bishop. Something's gonna eventually take all my stuff on the left side of the board. Hmm, I could advance a knight, but then the knight doesn't have anywhere to go next. Um... Wow. All right, we're retreating. What a cowardly move. But, like, uh, it's very hard to spot anything constructive the silver can do up there other than make a target of itself. So, it'll rejoin my castle. Um, yeah, there is potentially a rook fork out here. But I could drop a bishop to deal with that. And if we do see that, at least we know where the rook is. So. Silver lining. Hmm, that makes sense. Wait, actually, I'm not sure that... I mean, there is some sense to it, but it creates other problems. But no, that's well-timed, though. Even if it's not perfect. Oh, what a headache. Um... If I take, they're vent they threaten the pawn drop here. Yeah, I need the tempo to bring my stuff back together. I can't take this pawn, so they end up getting this pawn in hand. Um... Yeah, if this rook starts floating all over the board, that's just scary. Um, and then I intended to deal with that this way. Yeah, this is fine. This is protects my silver and the promotion square. And it makes a threat. Problem is, if they promote, I might want to do bishop takes and exchange the bishop for the rook. Oh, right, okay, there is no fork here. Um, yeah, I was thinking there might be room for a fork, but 
there's actually not. My camp isn't quite so thin as to allow for a fork. If they drop a rook, I might be able to advance the knight? No, but the rook, rooks move sideways, and pawns don't take diagonally. This is shogi, not chess. So pawns don't protect each other here. Um, yeah, this diagonal's open, so I can hit the knight, and then hit the silver, and hit this, and all this good stuff. Oh. Why? Um, that's asking for trouble, buddy. <laughs> I guess that protects the pawn. Is there a deeper meaning to this move? Because I don't see one. Like, where is this going next? Be careful about putting your rooks in front of your pawns, or you might have somewhere to go next. Um, well, okay. I can't exploit it. don't see an easy way to exploit this, other than just drop the other bishop. Hmm. I do prefer a rook over a bishop. Yeah, I don't understand that drop. We're going to see what they are trying to do. Um, when I first started uh, playing this game, I thought that having the pieces on the piece stand was less useful than having them on the board. But there's such an immense flexibility that comes from having a piece on the stand. Uh, your opponent has to constantly watch out for what if they drop here and what if they drop there and that sort of thing. This rook being on the board limits where it can go next. Um, okay, so I continue defending this point, And now I've got a rook, they've got a bishop. So either that was what they intended to do, or I just outcalculated them. Um, and I'm thinking it's probably the latter. Time pressure can make fools of us all. 60-second Biyoyomi. Maybe, maybe my bishop was making them nervous. It's hard to know. Alright, so this threat is to promote... Um, yeah, the counter, I think, is obvious. We just block the promotion line. And yes, they can gain a pawn, um, but uh, again, pieces on the board limits the potential for each piece. This bishop does protect the knight, so my trickiest tricks are unavailable. But um, why is there not some awesome trick here? I could push this. 
That doesn't... Oh. Like, okay, obviously I should try to do annoy the bishop. Um... All right, so we continue reducing the scope of this bishop. Uh, okay. I didn't see that, I admit. That is pretty aggressive. Um, but also that might not be possible here. We have a bit of a disagreement about this position. So my contention is that the bishop or the pawn, one of these two is going to fall. If I mess up, I get checkmated, but... That's if I mess up. Mm -hmm. Did I mess up? <laughs> oh no. Um, well, this could be special. Hmm. I mean, it's interesting. Oh man, that's no good. That's no good. All right, Let's see where we end up again. This could hurt a lot. Yeah, if I take this pawn, I'm probably in trouble. Mm. What do we do? This is such a disaster. Hmm. How could this possibly end well? Mm hmm. I have to recapture it now. This is such a disaster. Do I get mated instantly here? Pretty much. Well, I don't know. This is... Yeah. This, I've seen better. 
This reminds me of a Shogi Don't Wars, doesn't it? Um, that looks... I was going to say that looks unnecessary. Um, I'm not sure what how I can improve, though. Hmm. It's not letting me off the hook. Unless I can take one of these to escape here, but... What are the odds? I'm still not hitting the bishop. Oh, they can just drop another pawn. Um... Yeah, they've used pawns extremely effectively this game. I'm not surviving this. Well, okay, my king can't make a run for it either. Much as I'd like to see that work, I, it doesn't work. Um, so if I drop a pawn... So bad. The key is doing something about the damn bishop. Oh, thanks for the game. My apologies. Uh, yeah, that's unusual, isn't it? Well, we're not ranking up today, that's for sure. Uh, um, so, uh, yeah, if they have time, um, we would like to analyze from the top if it's okay. Yeah, I... Like, this is going to happen regardless, and it's illegal regardless. Um, cool. So, after the game, we get to review and try to figure out what was going on. Um, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, let's get excited by the opportunity to do this here. Um, <laughs> mm. yeah, but it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's so dynamic, and this, this arrangement tends to equalize the position and make it super complex. Um, so, yeah, um, I mean, this all makes sense, I think. Um, yeah. I mean... I'm trying to, like, find a creative way to use a move here without creating holes everywhere. Um, and... Yeah, maybe this is okay. I I really don't know. It's got me curious, um, but we can only speculate, I think. It's hard. I don't really know. Like, this all makes sense. Uh, 
That's probably not good. Um, let's see, I should probably do something like this. Or this, or I don't know. Hmm. The issue with the gold advance, however... Bishop drop 4-9. Ah! I'm not too alarmed about the possibility, because I still have a rook I can defend with, and like... But yeah, I have to watch out for the threat. Um, so I guess I have to like drop this back. Yeah. It's interesting. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah, I think he's right. Mm hmm. Um, oh, that makes sense. So, yeah, the idea of playing Swinging Rook here, um, it's pretty crafty. Yeah, uh, possibly in Shogi Wars at some point I might have once had an opportunity to do that, although generally tactics tend to decide things before then. These pawn advances were so provocative, and I just kind of lost my mind looking at it. I haven't played Chogi in a while, so it's good to regain my bearings. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Um. <laughs> yeah, so, like, yeah, this was bad. There, there's no coming back from this, I think. Um, so, like, surely this just, like, wins on the spot? I don't know. Like, this is so bad. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I tried to make something at the diagonal. Um. This is just really, really bad. But, um, I got materialistic for sure. <laughs> so, like, because of that, actually, I'm supposed to take like this. But then, this is just like... Yeah. It's so bad. <laughs> like, yeah. Hmm. I can't. 
can try to defend this, and then that hangs, and then this is threatened. Oh! Um, yeah, I guess I do have a threat. I do have a singular threat here. Um, it just looks so bad. I was so excited, but this is just a disaster. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. This is... I... I'm embarrassed by this game. <laughs> so I'm supposed to have, like, defended this way, but this is also... Like, I can't... There's nothing I can do. Yeah. Oh, if I do... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah there's just like what can I even consider uh okay that is a threat that is a threat um yeah that makes some sense maybe there was something here I was not optimistic about this whole situation, but maybe something was possible. Um. I guess this is also threatened. Like, there's no getting out of this. It's kind of extraordinary. All right, so, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe, ah, uh. hmm, this makes more sense. I was just tilting super hard, because this didn't make any sense. Yeah. Hmm. Well, part of it also involves retreating the rook, and I think they just kept taking things. Um, right, you just keep capturing. And it's such a strong attack. Um. Mm. Now, oh my gosh. A bishop fork. Well, um, does it become an issue? Yeah, wow. Um, so, I mean, I was thinking, though, what about, um, just directly attacking here? Um, yeah, this is what had me concerned. Maybe not this line, but a very similar line during the game. Um... Yeah. Like, what's... You can't be serious, can you? 
<laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, but, um, yeah, like, this looks pretty serious, so I don't think I saw this particular line during the game, but something very, very similar was possible at one point, and I just could not, yeah, this is complicated. But anyway, uh, 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 yeah, I must have blundered. This can't be right, so yeah. I just dove head first into the well. <laughs> this is so bad. It is cool looking at all the variations thereafter, so maybe that was part of the appeal. Um just I like playing crazy stuff because I'm curious what could result, but this was just so bad. Um Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's just... This is such a disaster. I... Like... It's, um... I mean, maybe this? But... Yeah. This is maybe my only chance, but... Yeah. Or... Uh, maybe I just need to sidestep that. I just did not calculate well at all. Um, maybe there were chances here. Um, mm. yeah, uh, Yeah, I'm impressed. Um, yeah, they somehow, using only pawns, defeated me. Uh, so I didn't play. There must have been some better way this could have gone. I was just so surprised by everything they did, and I didn't... Yeah. <laughs> What a game. I just, like... Yeah, this is... I... Well, we'll look forward to playing future weeks in the Shogi Ladder. Maybe if I practice more, I'll play better next time. Um, I was so excited about the possibility of ranking up that I hadn't considered this alternative. Although I think I wouldn't have ranked up anyway. I think you have to be on the boundary, and then you have to win on the boundary. So, uh, probably wouldn't have won anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was good fun. Uh, cool. Nice. Uh, we'll let them be. Yeah. So I tend to end these with some co sort of conclusory remark, wrapping things up. Um, again, my feelings about this, it felt like a one-sided affair, but I just completely whiffed on this. Didn't see the fork in the first place. 
I'm not sure what other tactics I missed, and this is a very tactical opening. Um, from a pragmatic point of view, uh, it's good to build a castle when you don't know what to do. This is not building a castle. In retrospect, I've not tried this before, and I was so excited to try it, but this is not building a castle. Building a castle would be something, uh, and Tulip noted that, yeah, I have to watch out for a bishop fork here. But if I had built a castle, we would be having some kind of different discussion here. Anyway, it's been fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.